is Viva Podcast. Thank you for joining in our morning daily devotion. There is an interesting reason as to why planes cannot fly through volcanic ash. Some of the facts presented after a test done showed the extent to which the ash could damage the hardware of an airplane. The inner cooling components were clogged. The fan blades were gouged. The engines heated to a very high temperature. The plumes can degrade the aircraft windows. One of the most important reason is that the plume can be hard to detect. The pilots cannot exactly distinguish what they are trying to avoid. In Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 we read, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction." Wisdom to administer justice. Now with wisdom there is an aspect of it and it is called judgment. the ability to judge righteous judgment jesus said that in the book of john he told the pharisees to learn to judge righteous judgment the pharisees because of their blindness to the reality of what they were and in their self righteousness they could not understand properly what good judgment was so what is judgment Judgment is the capacity to assess a situation and to draw sound conclusions. This is possible only if we have a right heart towards God. God's word tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 7 we read, "Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David." but i am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties if you look at the frame of mind of solomon he said he was a servant he looked upon himself in what we would describe as a very humble way in his early beginnings we see how god began to work with him and why god worked with him in the way he did because of his attitude towards god and towards his law It is only with God's wisdom can we administer justice. Wisdom to warn. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 13 we read, Better a poor but wise youth than an old but foolish king who no longer knows how to heed a warning. Wisdom is calling out to us in the midst of our busy lives to stop, listen and heed. Should we continue on our own way, when calamity strikes, the message will be too late to heed. The instructions and warnings in scripture are just as clear. We ignore them at our own peril. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 32 and 33, but whoever listens to me will dwell secure and will be at ease without dread of disaster. The greatest environmental disaster that Russia ever suffered was the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster. There were two electrical engineers in the control room that night and the best thing that could be said for what they were doing is they were playing around with the machine. They were performing what the Soviets later described as an unauthorized experiment. They were trying to see how long a turbine would free wheel when they took the power off it. Now taking the power off that kind of a nuclear reactor is a difficult dangerous thing to do because the reactors are very unstable in their lower ranges in order to get the reactor down to that kind of power where they could perform the test they were interested in performing they had to override manually six separate computer driven alarm systems one by one the computer alarms would go off and say stop dangerous go no further and one by one rather than shutting off the experiment they shut off the alarms and kept going we know the results nuclear fallout that was recorded all around the world from the largest industrial accident ever to occur in the world wisdom's cry for us is to heed her warnings the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom For more details please contact 9163642521640 or email us to info@fibaonline.org